All right, Dredge 101, South Padre Island, Texas. I'll explain how Dredge Hopper works. We're currently using one in the Brownsville Ship Channel, the jetties, and the city of South Padre Island, Texas GLO, U.S. Corps of Engineers, or have uh, awarded Weeks Marine the contract to move all of that sand, a total of 360, 100,000 cubic yards, 270,000 cubic yards, which is 75% will be dumped in the area near the Hilton the Marriott, and Clayton's. The other 90,000 will be sent over to Isablanca Park. So right here, my drone just took off from Dolphin Cove Ship Channel, and we're going to fly it over and do a flyover of the dredge hopper and explain how this vessel works. So it's right here in the Brownsville Ship Channel, otherwise known as the Brazo Santiago Pass. And he's currently dead, almost dead center of the channel, and he's currently dredging. So this is a dredge hopper vessel. And what he does is he is deepening the channel down to about 52 feet. This is a widely or heavily used shipping lane to the port of Brownsville. So from the mouth of the jetty, Gulf of Mexico to Brownsville, ship channel 17 miles. At this section right here, it's about a mile wide, and he is currently dredging. If you look slightly to your right, you'll see the Boca Chica jetties, as shown in the video there, with the caption. And on the left will be, obviously, the South Padre Island jetties, which is, should be coming up right here. South Padre Island jetties. And I'll go ahead and pan to the north. We're panning from east to northeast to straight to north, and you can get a view of the island. By the way, South Padre Island is 34 miles in length from South Padre to the Port Mansfield Cut. That's another channel that was cut. The Brazo Santiago is actually a natural channel, but then we went in, or they went in, and widened it and deepened it for vessel traffic. Also, Padre Island itself, the entire island, is the longest barrier island on the planet at 113 miles, in case you didn't know that. So this vessel here will, will continue to dredge. Once he fills his hopper tank in the vessel, the vessel will get lower and lower. He'll reach his maximum weight capacity. They'll stop dredging. And then he will head north about four and a half miles, roughly, to the Hilton, Clayton's, Marriott, La Quinta area. And offshore, he will connect to a floating pipe, connect to that pipe, into that collar. And then the pipe will slowly go down to the seabed floor all the way to the beach. And at the beach, they've got these pumps that help pump it and disperse it. And at the same time, you've got... D6 caterpillars that are out there spreading the sand and basically widening, widening the beach, making it wider. So that's what you get when you dredge. We take those beautiful sands and silt and we move them up and put them on the beach and spread them out with the bulldozer caterpillars and other tractors that they have there. So I will have a video here that's coming up shortly by a company that actually makes these dredge vessels and they will explain how the dredge hopper works in a lot more detail with actually uh, animated graphics that'll look really, really nice. So here's a top view of the dredge hopper right here looking straight down and dead center of the channel. Now you notice the water clarity is not very pretty because they're stirring up the bottom so you can see the silt and the sand right there. And as I pan up on the camera, you should be able to see the Gulf of Mexico or the entrance to the jetties you can see all the dark sand and then you'll see the blue in the background which is the deeper water in the gulf of mexico so we'll pan to the north here and we'll go into our video here instructional video on how these things work the hop the dredge hoppers The trailing suction hopper dredges of Voscalis are ocean-going vessels that can collect sand and silt from the seabed and transport it over large distances. Voscalis deploys trailing suction hopper dredges for the construction and maintenance of ports and waterways, as well as land reclamation and coastal defense and riverbank protection. Trailing suction hopper dredges are equipped with one or two suction pipes ending in drag heads. When a vessel reaches the dredging location, it reduces speed and lowers the suction pipes to the seabed.
The drag head moves slowly over the bed, collecting the sand like a giant vacuum cleaner. The mixture of sand and water is pumped into the hopper of the dredging vessel. Dredging stops when the maximum hopper capacity is reached. The vessel can discharge its load in various ways, depending on the project specifications. The vessel can discharge its load by rainbowing. Rainbowing is used when the vessel can get close to the discharge location and the previously reclaimed sand body is above or almost above the surface. The sand is sprayed through a nozzle in the bow, rainbowing in an arch through the air. Another discharge method consists of pumping the sand ashore by floating or sunken pipelines. This approach is used for example in land reclamation or coastal protection projects. The sand is pumped through floating pipelines into the reclamation area. The sand can also be deposited through doors located in the bottom of the vessel. Accuracy is achieved by maneuvering the vessel precisely above the designated location. Boscalis has a large fleet of state-of-the-art trailing suction hopper dredges operating on projects all over the world. All right, here we are again, the second part of this video. I've got the drone over at the Clayton Pier, and we're heading out to the hopper dredge vessel offshore. He's in about roughly, probably 30 feet of water. There he is right there, dead center. And if you see the dark, see the buoys on the left here? There's a yellow buoy, another yellow buoy coming up, another yellow buoy, and another buoy coming up. Those are the buoys indicating there's pipe down below on the seabed. You can see the buoys right there, they're yellow buoys. And they're kind of curving to the left toward the vessel. Here's another one right below. We got some more buoys coming up. So that indicates where the pipe is at on the seabed floor. So we'll come up to the vessel here, we'll approach it. Oh, there goes a flock of birds. And we'll come up and give you a view of what it looks like. So the vessel is pointing due east, the bows to the east. You'll see the floating pipe coming up here in a minute as it gets up to the surface. And on the front of the vessel, the bow, you've got a pipe that goes down to connect to the floating pipe. So from that vessel, they pump <clears throat> the sand and the silt to the beach. And are at the beach, they've got these pumps that will repump it out and spread it through pipes across the beach of the area that they need to re-nourish. And of course, the bulldozers then go out and spread it and widen the beach. But here's an aerial view of the dredge vessel sitting there, the hopper dredge vessel. You can see the pipe on the right, the front of the boat, and that's where he pumps it, connects it to that pipe, and it goes back to shore. And as we fly back, I'll point out the buoys. There we go. You can kind of see a buoy down below. Kind of hard to see it with, with the rough ocean there, but there's a buoy below, another buoy. As we get closer, I'll put some captions showing exactly where they're at. So basically, they're slightly north of the Hilton, the furthest most hotel. And I see a yellow buoy coming up here. I think I have a caption on this. Yeah, right there, bottom right, you should see a yellow buoy. 
yellow buoy. There it is. You can kind of see the ocean floor looks a little bit darker there. Obviously, that's where the pipe is at. You'll see some more pipes. You'll see the pipe and you'll see the buoys, basically. It'll go into shore. And like I said, once it reaches shore, yellow buoys are right there. And you'll make it out right over here. You'll get a better view of the pipe. Right about near, you can see the pipe laying on the floor. Right there, shallow water. And you can see it on the beach there. You can see the uh, pump over there on the right. You can see the pipe running all along in front of the Hilton, La Quinta, Clayton's, and the Marriott. And the pipe runs across the beach underneath the pier. And there it is being dispersed and pumped out and the D6 caterpillars and spread it out. And that completes the process of beach renourishment at the north end of the island, which is uh, going to be completed or soon, and the rest will be sent out to uh, the jetties.